Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin to the US dollar four hour chart on Coinbase. And uh, last time we spoke, guys, Bitcoin was consolidating here in this zone between 3800, 3600. Uh, I told you guys this was a critical zone for uh, for Bitcoin to hold this 3600. Um, it looked to me like there was a good chance that price was going to end up breaking down to this 3400 to 3250 zone uh, just below here. Um, and I would, if this does happen, I would expect uh, there to be some support here between uh, 3400 and 32. 50. Um, as of now, I admit I am a little surprised that this is holding as strong as it is. If you remember yesterday, guys, we uh, yesterday, guys, when we were talking, uh, um, I pointed out um, that uh, that Bitcoin. This is looking on the daily chart. That Bitcoin um, on the daily has been since uh, November the 13th, so a little over two weeks now, has been uh, touching on each one of these daily candles has touched that bottom Bollinger Band. Now, you know, in and of itself, that's not very significant, but that is one thing that we're watching when anytime you see a trend like that and that trend gets broken. It kind of catches your eye. And yesterday was the first day we had a candle um, that did not at all, a daily candle did not touch that bottom Bollinger Band on the weekly chart here at all. Today, it looks like that um, is going to be the case again. So we may be, this may just be a little uh, temporary stall. Obviously, this does mean, doesn't mean anything in and of itself, other than we are breaking this pattern, other than the, the knife is starting to catch a little bit of support here um, and not fall, at least not quite as fast. Now, does that mean that we're going to be heading up? No, not necessarily at all. But it is interesting. I think Bitcoin is looking for a bottom. Um, and as of now, it's trying to break back up above this 3,800 zone. As I said, it's been trapped here between 3,800 and 3,600 has been there um, for uh, for quite some time now. We can see that it broke up here, broke back down. It was up above this zone for just about, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, just about 20 hours or so, uh, and then fell right back in. And it's interesting if I zoom in here, guys, you can see just how great this support is, um, is holding here. Obviously, it's broken through by a wick, but not by a body at all and also uh, to the upside that 3800 resistance now what was support acted as resistance um, and that resistance is very strong now as well it's been break trying to break through unable to price is coming up there now tapping at the top of that 3800 ceiling trying to break through if we can break through this and I don't mean by a wick guys I mean if we can break through on a day on a four hour candle uh, that both opens and closes above 3800 uh, we may have a temporary um, excuse me Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat. We may have a temporary um, uh, little bull run here now. And I, I, I use that term very, very, very loosely, guys. In other words, we may have maybe a tiny little stop hunt here. I don't even want to call it a short squeeze. As of now, I don't think shorts are stacked quite high enough to uh, to uh, merit a uh, short squeeze. Uh, if we come over here and we look at, uh, I should say, shorts too longs. Shorts are stacking here. There's no question that shorts are stacking. Uh, though looking over at longs, we're only about uh, 15, 20 percent. Um, that, that gap is only about 15, 20 percent. Uh, uh, shorts out uh, outpacing longs at the moment. Usually you get up to about 30% and that's when you're going to see a massive short squeeze. And like I said, as of right now, guys, it's only about a, a 15, 20% differential between longs and shorts at the current moment. So we'll have to wait and see. Shorts certainly are stacking. Uh, coming over here, looking at longs, we can see longs um, in the last, certainly in the last four hours, or excuse me, certainly in this last 24 hours have been stacking as well. Uh, not, uh, not nearly at the pace of shorts, but nonetheless, they are stacking there. Um, what I want to see is I want to see uh, longs either uh, either either drop off the board here or start to move sideways and shorts just start to stack tremendously um, and I think we may see that here um, I, what we may see here uh, very very soon is price come up uh, liquidate some of these long positions get rid of some of these long positions off the board I think once price comes up hits this area up here between uh, 4150 and 4000 anywhere in this area I think this is going to be a good area to short uh, anywhere between 4000 and uh, 4000 150 would be a decent area to short expecting a decent bounce off that zone and coming back down now if we break above 4150 at that point guys we break above 4150 i'm going to start to get a little more bullish start to think that we may very well uh be in a temporary short squeeze we'll have to wait and see kind of how that plays out but what i'm expecting here if we can get above 3800 and that's a big if guys we're going to wait and see if this ceiling holds or not but if we can break above 3800 i'm expecting a lot of time i'm expecting long to drop off the board i'm expecting short positions to be added up in this uh up in this zone here between uh for uh 4150 to 4000 dollars somewhere in this zone guys shorts to be added and if if that scenario does play out guys it doesn't mean it's going to so make sure you can't just watch price coming into this zone and say oh work and set if it's this zone it's going to come right back down that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is if it comes down hits this zone and short and long positions start to um uh, start to liquidate. In other words, long start to take some of their profits as it comes up here, guys. Um, uh, short positions will more than likely fall off the board a little bit, but I think um, I don't think that would be a massive.
massive stop. And in other words, I think a lot of the short positions went short up here and right here. So if we just hit this zone here, more than likely the stop losses on these, we're going to be up in this area on short positions are going to be up here at about um, uh, 4,300, 4,315, somewhere thereabouts. So if we come up here, guys, I think more than likely, this is going to be an area where a lot of people are watching to add to their short positions. So if that does happen, come up here long start to take some profits shorts end up adding to their positions expecting a decent bounce um, if that does happen i would expect a short squeeze to come in pretty quickly if we come into this zone up here and uh and uh shorts uh start to uh, uh start short start to fall off the board in other words we trigger some stop losses and long start to uh um um uh, if, if longs get added at that point, guys, more than likely, uh, this thing is going to fall right back down. Because what do they? What do market makers want to do, guys? Market makers, market makers is a zero sum game, as I always tell you. So they're going, they're going for someone to make money, someone has to lose money. Um, so market makers, if it comes up here and longs are stacked, they're going to bring price in the other direction. Conversely, if come up here, short position stacked, expect everyone's expecting shorts to um, come back down. Everyone's expecting that bounce off this there and a continuation to the uh, to this bearish trend down to that three thousand or thirty four hundred dollar area. At that point, I think um, uh, market makers are just going to take this thing right on up. So watch that zone, guys. Be very, very cautious as it hits that zone. Watch your longs and short positions. See what they're doing. That's kind of the tell as far as what direction market makers are going to take this. Now, as I was just showing you guys earlier, we are condensing here into this uh, into this little wedge pattern, lower highs, higher lows. We're just now breaking above that here. It'll be interesting to see if this is that stop hunt that we were talking about. In other words, see if they are coming into this zone, fake everybody out, a major uh, uh bull trap and they bring price right back down and again that's all going to pin, going to depend on what shorts and longs do if that does end up uh, if that does end up breaking up <clears throat> Now to the downside, uh, if as I told you guys yesterday, if 3600 does break, I think it'll be a very quick drop here to 3400 at least, possibly as low as 3250. There's a fairly decent amount of support in this area, at least temporarily. So I wouldn't I wouldn't expect this thing to drop like a knife as it did up here. I would expect a, a smaller drop here between 3600 down to about 3400 to uh, to a 3250 somewhere in this zone, and we'll have to wait and see how price reacts at that area. But I was surprised, guys. As I said, I am surprised by the lack of um, or by the uh, by the support that it is found at the bottom of 36. It's very, very surprising. There's a lot of buyers down in this zone, guys. I would expect this is this this is telling me that if this isn't the bottom, which I, I right now probability tells me that we are still we do we do still have um, more downside. Doesn't mean that has to happen. Just mean probability tells me that we do still have more downside. But um, it tells me that we're getting close. This is telling me that we are getting close. And I would say, as I told you guys before, three thousand dollars, maybe thirty eight hundred, or excuse me, maybe thirty, uh, excuse me, twenty eight hundred, twenty eight hundred, twenty six twenty, somewhere there about maybe that's the bottom but really 3000 guys 3000 looks like a very logical place for a bottom at this time guys um so and again it may already be in that's certainly possible i don't think so um i know some people are saying the bottom is near i think that there's a lot of signs showing the bottom is near um but i would put the bottom somewhere at least in this 3400 to 3200 zone possibly 3000 maybe even a wicking through 3000 to that 2850 zone down here somewhere in that area um but we're gonna have to watch and wait and see how this side of ends up uh ends up playing out guys um all right i'm gonna go ahead and wrap Bitcoin there. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you on Bitcoin. Sorry about that, guys. Keep an eye on this, uh, looking at the weekly chart here. Keeping an eye, and I told you guys this yesterday, keep an eye on this weekly RSI. As soon as this weekly RSI gets oversold, if that does end up happening, if this weekly RSI gets oversold, guys, this is what you're going to want to start to deploy a little bit of fiat, in my opinion, not financial advice. This is what I will be doing, I should say. I'll be flowing a little bit more fiat dollar cost averaging in. The lower that RSI goes, the heavier I will go in um, on uh, on Bitcoin. Um, so keep an eye on that weekly RSI, guys. I do believe that is key. I do believe there's a lot of people watching that, and that's going to be a very good indicator as far as uh, you know where, where the bottom may be. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap Bitcoin there. Coming over to EOS very, very quickly, looking at EOS, guys. EOS is basically just following Bitcoin. Um, in fact, if I come over here and I pull up, let me pull up the four-hour chart here. Um, yeah, here we go. This is the Bitcoin, the four-hour Bitcoin chart. Let me zoom in here and you guys can see a little bit better. You know, you can basically see we've had three major, we had drop sideways, drop sideways, drop sideways. Come over here, look at EOS here. We had three major moves here. We had drop sideways, drop sideways, drop sideways. Um, so really this is the, this chart is just following Bitcoin almost to the T, um, a little bit more. In other words, when Bitcoin drops, EOS drops to just, you know, just slightly further and vice versa, Bitcoin rise, EOS dry, uh, rises just slightly higher. Um, so that is definitely the case right now. It's finding that support level between uh, three, uh, $3 
dollars and two seventy. I pointed this support um, out uh, a few days ago, um, telling you guys at uh, as uh, as that uh, that four dollar to three fifty support just completely broke down. That range completely broke down. I told you this is where we're likely going to find support here, that three dollar to two seventy area. Sure enough, broke down, wicked down to about uh, two eighty eight, and then uh, found some support. And right now, it's just breaking back above that three dollar range. Now it's going to be a very big test. Um, we could we created a little bit of structure right here. Um, it's right here and right here. So this area right here is sitting at about uh, uh, $3 and the top of which sits at about $3.21, call it $3.20. Um, yeah, I would expect a reaction at this zone. If we can break above it, if price can get above $3.20, um, at least on Bitfinex, looking at Bitfinex here, if we can get above $3.20, guys, at that point, we this thing may have some temporary legs. We'll have to keep watching it. There's a lot of layers of support all the way up. So we get above $3.20, I think it'll be a fairly quick rise up to about $3.40. If we can get a, um, in between $3.40 and about $3.40, 49 guys there's a, um, a, a nice area of resistance as well um and if we can break above that three uh 340 um uh, excuse me, that uh, 348 resistance. Uh, I think it'll be a very quick rise to the next level of resistance, which sits at about $3.67, somewhere in this area, guys. This is going to be a little heavier, a little harder to get above. If we can get above 370, 380, call it. If we can get um, above 380, guys, of course, that's going to be a very, very bullish sign. Now, we're a long way off from that now. Uh, max upside for me today, I'd be very surprised if we did break above 320 at all. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Certainly as possible. I'd be very surprised if it did, though. But if we can break above 320 with consolidation, Validation. That's going to show a very. That's going to be a very big sign of strength. Probably the biggest sign of strength we've seen since this thing started falling down. Um, so what? That's, that's what I really want to see. I want to see this area. What was support came back up. I want to see this area not act as resistance. We can break what was support if we can break it, break above it, and it starts acting as support again and does not act as resistance. Very bullish sign. This thing starts acting as resistance. Very bearish sign. We're more than likely very quickly going to drop back down to this three dollar to two seventy range down here, and more than likely even lower than. Than, uh, than it prior did here, than we uh, than we did prior. Um, so more than likely drop to about 270, 275, somewhere thereabouts, if we get a big reaction up here. So we're gonna be watching this zone, guys, watching to see how price reacts if and when it does get into this area. If you, this is, if, you, if you're in this market and you believe in the technology, if you believe in EOS, you believe in Bitcoin, you're gonna wanna start dollar cost averaging in, guys, because this may not be the bottom. We may have a little bit further to drop. That certainly is possible. Hell, we may have a lot, um, a lot further to drop, but there's no question that this time next year, you're going to be looking at these prices and wishing in my mind again not financial advice but in my mind in my opinion there's no question that this time next year you're going to be looking at these prices and wishing to god you had bought at these prices and you had the chance to again so i would i would be dollar cost averaging in um, without question um to these coins certainly um the altcoins you want to be extremely careful about i do think that once this dust settles on all this guys you're going to have a lot of these garbage coins are going to just go by the wayside no longer exist a lot of the higher market cap coins that have things going for them in my opinion eos is one of those coins. You guys do your own research. But if you believe in the coin, if you believe in the technology, if you believe in the team behind these, you want to start thinking about dollar cost averaging into these alt, into some of these altcoins. And I think one of the biggest signals you're going to see as far as knowing that Bitcoin is at the bottom is when you come over here, you pull up coin market cap, you're going in here and you're refreshing it. I think you're going to see Bitcoin starting to spike, you know, 5%, 10%, somewhere thereabouts. But one of the biggest signals you're going to see is you're going to see a 20, 30, 40% spike on some of these uh, on some of these good altcoins and once you start seeing that once you start seeing people not just buying bitcoin but being willing to jump into these altcoins on a heavier basis you're going to know that the bottom is very very likely in uh, for bitcoin so keep an eye on that as well all right guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap things there if you have any comments questions suggestions please let me know in the comments section below as always would appreciate an upvote if you have enjoyed this content till next time guys please trade safe take care of yourselves this is working signing out